Jubilant scenes in Zawiya as opposition fighters enter the city. Bullets fired in celebration and Libya's independence flag flying once again. Today we liberated the city of Ghariyan in the mountains. We liberated Sabha. We liberated Zawiya. Tomorrow we will go to Tripoli. Freedom. Freedom. But the Libyan government denies that it lost the city and insists Zawiya is still under their control. As Zawiya is absolutely under our control, what happened is exactly this. A very small group of rebels tried to move south of Zawiya. They were less than 100. They were stopped easily by our armed forces. There was a small group that resided inside Zawiya. They did not enter Zawiya. They are already inside Zawiya. And they were waiting for the other group to come in to join them. But they basically took action too early. So they exposed themselves and they were dealt with and they are still being dealt with in Zawiya. They are a small group. Zawiya was among the first cities that rose against Colonel Gaddafi's rule, but it was quickly suppressed. And on the other front, rebel advances seems to be endless. In Bir Tirfaz, south of Zawiya, opposition fighters on tanks roll into the city as Gaddafi forces abandon their boots and some of their tanks. And in Brega in the east, opposition fighters say they are trying to push deeper into this oil city, but are still facing resistance from Gaddafi forces. The rebel breakthroughs are coming from different fronts in quick succession. Now they are pushing ahead to the capital, a sign perhaps that the battle for Libya may be drawing to a close. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.